Hello, my best and hound friends, and Lemon Pie Cuties. Mark the Punk Gamer, A.K. Mark the Punk here, and I'm here with the new Death Metal ranking. Ha ha! Yes, I'm here with the new Death Metal ranking. Let me adjust my light a little bit to make it darker for me for you guys. There you go. Yes. I set the mood for this death metal band I am be ranking. There's a total of five of them. So, the death metal band from Finland I'm actually ranking is uh, Archgoat. So, there you go. And this is why. It's death metal galore here. So, I'm excited to get into this ranking. It's not a worst to best type ranking like I usually do in these videos. But this is a very special ranking here. So I'm ranking them best to very best since I haven't done one of those in a long time because I like all five of these albums of Arch Goat's albums. So, which is awesome. But before we begin, I forgot to mention on my uh, gift vlog video that the other thing that's mentioned. Um, my sister Ashley made me some cool looking towels. Here, I'll show you. So, uh, here you go. See? Etched with my name on it, which is cool in my opinion. Oh, also, the hand towel of it. And this is what's special about the hand towel. Check this out. It has a freaking basset hound on it. That is awesome. That's fucking awesome. See? With my name on it, on this hand towel. That's awesome. So... That's out of the way, since I forgot to mention those other ones, so. Here we go. I'll be ranking the Arch Goat albums. We're not worst the best. It's best to very best, because it's hard for me to pick which one's my favorite, because I like all five of them, and uh, all that stuff. <laughs> Hello, Marka Punk. I have returned. What the shit? Devil Scruff, you actually make a return? I can't believe it. So, huh, there he is, Double Scruff once again. Since, I remember I kicked your ass in my Benediction ranking before. Are you really going to give me a hard time right now? Uh, no, Marka Punk. I was thinking we can come to a, a, a truce. Since I don't feel like fighting you anymore. And you don't, and you want to, you don't want to fight me. I thought I'll be invited to your next Death Metal Rankings here on Out in Your Future. So, I like to call it Truce. Ah, Truce, huh? So, last time on my last ranking, it was in Pale Nazarin, um, and you actually took my pants last time. That I remember. You also almost took my girlfriend, and, uh, and you lied to me about Choco Tacos. I remember that. So... And I beat you in Magic the Gathering, which was luck-based, by the way. Uh, well, it was temporary. It's funny you lost your pants, though. Uh, uh, but I just still want to call it truce. What do you say? Sure, Double Scruff, I guess. So, since I don't feel like beating you anymore, so... My hands are kind of rusty, so, from last time... Yes, you can hang out with me and the rest of the Death Metal in the future. So, can I m please move on to my best of very best ranking of go Archgo, please? Sure, go ahead. Uh, hardcore Death Metal fans will find it interesting that you're ranking Archgo. I think it's an interesting Death Metal band in my opinion. Why, thank you, Double Scruff. Now, finally... The introduction's out of the way since Devil Scruff made a return. Anyway, ranking them, Archgoat Studio Albums, best to very best. So here we go. What I have in my number five best album, I think, is actually their debut album of Archgoat. So the album is called Horror of Bethlehem album. Um, this is still a good album, that which I like. It's actually a pretty cool um, debut album. It's really cool. The sound is a little bit off here and there. I can't barely um, know the vocals very well. And uh, it's the quality of it. So this is why I put this at my number five um, best here. So 
all the songs I'm going to name you guys, this is actually going to be fun. So, Invocation Instrumental, Angel of Sodomy, uh, Lord of the Void, uh, Dawn of the Black Light, Lucifer in Darkness, Desecration, <laughs> Black Crusade, uh, Hora Bethlehem, uh, Grand Marshal of the Black Tower, and lastly, Hammer of Saint. <laughs> So, all the songs I like from this one. So, I put this as my number five best one in my ranking. It's still a good album, nonetheless, in their debut, so, overall. So, my number five is going to be Whore of Bethlehem. My number fourth pick for my best in my ranking is going to be Worship the Eternal Darkness. Their latest one for now is actually pretty good. So, why did I put this at number four instead of the other one? Because um, it has a better quality of this one. So, their new one's pretty good as well. I actually, I actually enjoy going through all of them. So, I like the opening intro to this one. Heaven's Ablaze, uh, Black Womb um, Gonus, uh, All Christianity Ends Christianity, uh, and An Extremist Na Nazarin, Nazarin, whatever it's called, Rats Pray God, Imperium Armageddon, uh, Blessed, Blessed in the Light of Lucifer, Worship the Eternal Darkness, and lastly, Burial of Creation. So, I put this as my number fourth best album because this is another good one I can actually go through of all the Arch Goat albums. So, there you go. So, my number four pick for this ranking is going to be Worship the Eternal Darkness. <laughs> ah. My delicious top three of my Arch Goat ranking, which is the evil bronze and evil silver, and the most pure evil is in the gold medal winner of all five of these. So, my number three evilest Arch Goat album, and it's in the bronze category, is the Light Devouring Darkness album. So this one is actually pretty cool as well going through. Makes me feel like a goat. Isn't that right? It's double scrub. Uh, uh, I made a worse ghost impression. Goat impression, sorry. It could be a ghost goat. Jesus, Scruffles, you made the worst goat impression. But anyway, yeah. Light Devouring Darkness is my number three bronze medal winner, but I'm gonna name all ten tracks, ten, ten tracks of these. Intro, third invocation instrumental opening, which is awesome. Apothesis of Lucifer. Uh, Turbulence of the King of Worms. Goat and the Moon. Sodomator of the Doomed Venus. The Light Devouring Darkness, so there you go. Uh, blessed in Beast... Uh, yeah, Blessed in Beast Blood. Worms Born of ma ma Martyrdom? Martyrdom? So, I don't know. So. Sorry for not pronouncing the names right. So, Fornicated Messiah. 
and lastly, the dawn of the Antichrist. And yes, this is the one I like going through as a good Arch Goat album. So my number three evil Bronze Metal winner is going to be The Light Devouring the Darkness. My number two evil Silver Metal winner that made it in the top of my ranking. I mean, it's really hard to pick which one's my favorite. So my number two is actually the Apocalyptic Triumphador album. This one is awesome as well. It makes you feel more death metal in your purest of all souls. And, uh, Asa Timbale. But anyway, I like all 12 tracks in this one. So, intro, left hand path, instrumental. I like to open the instrumental of this album. Nuns, Cunts, and Darkness. The Apocalyptic Triumphator. Uh, Phallic Desecrator of Sacred Gates. Uh, Grand Luciferin Theorv... I don't know. I can't read the rest. Sorry. So, these below who dwell in hell. Intro right hand path instrumental. It's another instrumental to this album as well. Uh... Congregation of Circumcised, uh, Sado Magical Portal, Light of Pophorus, Pophorus, yeah, Pophorus, uh, Profanator of the First Commandment, and lastly, the Funeral Pyro of the Trinity. And yes, my best of hell friends and non cuties. I'm already pure evil as fuck. So, my number two evil as silver medal winner is gonna be the apocalyptic Triumphator. And now, my best of hell friends and non cuties. This is my purest of evilest out of all the Arch Goat Studio albums that I like out of all five of them, and I think it's the very best and more purest, evilest one I can remember. And the album is gonna be called Luciferin Crown Album. Yes, I like this one. This is the purest of evilest Arch Goat albums I do like. This made it to my number one purest of gold medal winners. And this one, I think I mostly listen to. So, just to end my evilest ranking and name you all 10 of these tracks I do like as well. The Interioration, Jesus Christ, Father of Lies, uh, Jezebel's Black Mass Orgy, <laughs> Messiah of Pigs, oink. Darkness Has Returned, Sorcery and Doom, like I'm full of sorcery as is, Star of Darkness and Abyss, The Obscenity, Obsidian Flame from My Depths, The Luciferian Crown, Venom of God, and lastly, I Am Lucifer's Temple. Yes, out of all these Arch Goat albums, this one I think is the pure evilest out of all five of them. My best of hell friends and lemon pie cuties. <laughs> My number one pure evilest gold medal winner is gonna be the Luciferin's Crown album. <laughs> Okay, I'm done with the evil speak now. So, what do you think of that, Devil Scruff? It's actually the most impressive evil speech about these Arch Goat albums, Marka Punk. It is pure evil indeed. Nah, nah, nah. Thank you, Devil Scruff. Anyway. I'm going to end this new studio album ranking right here. 
So, mm, subscribe to me if you haven't. Make sure you click the bell to get all of my notifications whenever I'll upload and stuff. And make sure you share this studio album ranking of Archgoat studio albums. Best of very best. And I will see you delicious Basset Hound friends and Lemon Pie Cuties on my next short ranking. And uh, the next one's going to be interesting too. So, seizure later, my pure evil friends, and keep rocking on. <laughs>